Kanye West paying $200,000 a month in child support? Oh my God, $200,000 a month, holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. That is just insane. I came across this article on theguardian.com and what I liked about this article versus the other articles on the Kanye Kim divorce and child support issue is that it really breaks down where this number $200,000 a month came from for the child support order. The fact is that most human beings walking around, you and me, if we get put on child support, we're gonna have some state mandated statutory calculation that's gonna be used. That's gonna take into account our incomes, how much time we get with the kids, who claims kids for taxes, who's paying daycare costs, and how it's gonna come a number. For example, in California, the average monthly child support per child is $430. It's a far cry from $200,000 a month. What's really cool about this article is it goes into depth about the lifestyle analysis that you get into for child support when you're talking about really, really super uber wealthy celebrities and high net worth individuals. For instance, Kanye's kids are gonna to have to fly on private jets, attend expensive private schools, have a personal security detail, and let's not forget, they have to travel to Fashion Week in Mulan in Paris, flying private jets all the way staying in expensive hotels. And in cases like this, it becomes an argument about keeping that lifestyle going for the kids. The article says, and all child support orders will take into account the other parent's income, which it did here. But the thing that I don't get is Kim's not hurting for money. So I'm surprised that this number turned out as large as it is. The other thing that's interesting is when we're talking about any future modifications of child support. It's no secret that Kanye's recently had some issues with his career that may well end up in a significant income decrease for him in the coming months or years. If that happens, he's gonna to have to file for a modification of his child support, and he's gonna to have to show to the court that there's been a substantial reduction in his income that is not his fault. This is really interesting because A, his attorneys in this case need to have done a really good job of documenting what his income is now. And when he does file for a modification, if he chooses to do that, they're gonna to have to prove that the reduction was not his fault. I predict that Kim's lawyers would come in and argue that the reduction in income was his fault due to public statements that he's made that are highly controversial that would have caused record labels to drop him and sponsorships to stop using him. At the end of the day, they could certainly reach an out-of-court settlement on any future modification. That's always the best way if it's possible. They're amicable enough, but after watching the drama that went down in their divorce with the child custody issues, I don't know how amicably they're co-parenting right now. But I'm gonna keep looking into this. I'm gonna keep an eye on their situation and I'll keep you guys updated. Don't forget, if you're a parent, you could end up in the child support system one day. If you need to learn about child support, any other areas about the law, check out this channel for more.